Hey everybody, this is Christopher Mink, and today we're taking a look at the... We're in the car, and we're taking a look at the new Maps application that's available on iOS 6. So, without further ado, let's... Uh, we're going to open it up, fire it up, and uh, first thing you see here, this is the new Maps application. Now, it's going to have a different look than what you used to. Um, as you can see, just the design, the overall UI is going to be different. And at first, you'll notice that there are less streets but actually this actually changes as you start to pinch outward you'll notice that information starts uh, flowing so you'll see more streets you'll see more points of interest uh, all that sorts of uh, great stuff now let's see some familiar things uh, first of all if you just want to get directions somewhere just click on this arrow and then you can actually enter the name of the location or the address. Um, also they have walking directions. One limitation of the app is that it doesn't offer mass transit so it has to have a handoff app. Um, as of now, as the time of this video, there were no handoff apps but you can expect that the App Store is going to have that sort of thing somewhat shortly. Um, click here, this will get your GPS location which is pretty accurate right now as to, uh, to actually where I am and now this is a new 3d mode as you can see there it kind of tilts it it gives it it's not like a full 3d but it it gives you a nicer look um, other options which should be familiar to those who have used Google Maps you have standard you have hybrid which provides you with a satellite view imagery and it actually show you the actual streets also um, take a little while to render here. Uh, I am in a good location. And there you go. There's the uh, starting to populate now. So let me just go back. I'll show you just the straight satellite view. Now, this view also you can, you know, scan in if you like. Now, this view is, is great, but it's, it's even better when you go to a major city. So let's see if I have. Uh, cancel here and I'm just gonna write uh, Penn Station okay so now this is where it really gets cool now let's scan in and if you see here let's see okay so this is Penn Station this is Madison Square Garden now this is probably what you typically used to seeing in Google Maps but if you click on this you see that? See what I just did there? You've got this, and you've got that. That's way cool, right? Okay. Now, here you can find your contacts. Uh, if you wanted to find information on a map, you could, let's see, we'll select TGI Fridays, which is one town over, and maps should find that information. which is great. So now that's really handy if you have your friends and maybe an acquaintance that you haven't seen in a while because um, well here you can click on this arrow. Let me just give you some information. This will usually show you like a satellite image of the location. Um, at times you can get more information. If it's a restaurant you'll see Yelp reviews which is now integrated into iOS 6. But you can also get driving directions which is pretty neat. So now it's showing me the different routes, uh, the different locations. I am going to switch to standard view and 3D. Now if you click on this icon you'll get a list of directions. So again that's very familiar with Google Maps, the list of directions that you would have to before. But now here's the thing that's really awesome. With iOS 6 you have turn by turn driving directions. Head west on Carrollton Avenue. Pretty neat, right? Voice, turn by turn navigation. Now, I don't feel like Fridays, so what I do feel like is going to Starbucks. So let's see, it'll find Starbucks. Okay, and that's the correct pin. We're going to go into 3D mode. We're going to click on driving directions. I am too fast for this particular Starbucks and there she is so um, you can also turn so let's see if we can turn sorry about the uh, 
wonky car holder and click on start. Starting route to Wontag Avenue. Head now I'm going to drive now. Uh, it might get a little bit of shaky. Uh, I will try and hold the video camera as I drive without getting into an accident. And this will give you an idea of what the actual application looks like as you're navigating. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Wanta Avenue. So as you see here, we're at Alcott Street, and this is actually, um, you can't see it, but it's actually, it's pretty dead on to uh, the location. It's about 4 o'clock at night, so there's a little bit of traffic, but not that bad. In half a mile, the destination is on your right. So that's also another feature which is really nice, is that it shows you where Starbucks is in this, in this instance. It's going to be on my right. You know, because a lot of times, times you'll have a navigation app, but it won't tell you if it's on the left or the right. And as you'd expect, or at least as I'd expect, because I live in this neighborhood, um, you've got some point of interest coming up also um, within the map. So they kind of give you an idea. There's a gas station there, uh, some eateries, and uh, there's a, a park coming up also. going to shoot a video, I'd recommend that you do not shoot a video on a bumpy street. But that's what we got going for us today. Arrived at Montag Avenue. So there we are. We're actually at Starbucks right now. Um, I'm in the parking lot and going to go grab myself a coffee. I, you know, I think I've earned it with this with this video. And um, yeah, so as you can see, this is um, let's see this is the um, it's the end <laughs> we're here and you get an idea of the coolness that is um, Google Maps actually not Google Maps how dare I say that maps in iOS 6 and this is great see here this back to this is the diner that's across the street and I want to just show you this Do we have that on video yeah um, you've got pictures that people have shared streaming through here not really the most incredible picture but uh, jump me right into Yelp here if I wanted to see that photo but let's go back into maps you have reviews that's right built in so this is really nice so as you're you know if you see a POI that you find interesting you can easily take a look and say okay you know uh, I really like this diner which oh by the way the Circle M diner I I endorse it it's a it's a get the cheeseburger deluxe it's, it's good stuff and uh, yeah, it gives you you know diners, dollars, and all that other great stuff. Um, we mentioned it in our Siri review, but let me just show you for this movies. Looking for movies. I found quite a number of movies. Okay, she'll find movies in your area. 
So that's also pretty good. Now this is great. So like UA Farmingdale Stadium. If I want to go see a movie there, I just tap on the movie theater and it's going to show it to me on the map. Click on this little guy, this little icon with the driving, and then click start. Starting route to Michael Avenue. And there you go. I can get my coffee and then I can go catch a movie. How's that? So I hope you found this enjoyable. Uh, iOS 6, it's a free update. Download it today. And for more information, check us out on everythingicafe.com.